jumped 10 miles since last night. Yeah. Boy, if the characters who throw away lighted matches and cigarette butts could see this, huh? I'm going to check with Helen. Uh, this is helicopter 3A Prophet of Longwood Field. 3A Prophet of Longwood Field. Come in, please. This is Longwood Field. Go ahead, Chuck. Uh, Helen, we're going to change our radio wavelength to KMA 628. Repeat, KMA 628. Any messages? Over. Just the weather report. High, gusty winds, at least through tomorrow. That's going to be a great help. Okay, Helen, we'll check with you. 3A Bravo out. High, gusty winds is right. Take a look over there. Better contact Chief Palmer fast. Ah, uh, this is helicopter 3A Bravo to Chief Palmer. 3A Bravo to Chief Palmer, come in, please. This is Chief Palmer. Hello, Chuck. Where are you? We're about six miles south of Sutter's Ravine. It's a running head, Chief. I got the report. A bulldozer's cutting a fire break a mile south of it. 3A Bravo out. Bravo, go ahead, Chief. Chuck, I've got an emergency. What now? You're pretty close to Timson Canyon, aren't you? That's right, we can see it from here. Good, I've got a report that three fellows are trapped there, prisoners from the county detention camp. Are they escape prisoners? No, volunteers. They wanted to do what they could. How'd they ever get in Timson Canyon? They must have walked through the fire. Yeah, they did. They got cut off, panicked. Can you get to them? Well, we can try. Good luck. Thanks, we'll need it. Free up, Bravo out. Did you know 
we were there. Chief Palmer called us on the radio. What kind of cops are you? We're not cops, we're just a couple of helicopter pilots. Hey, we weren't trying to run away, honest. We, we got cut off by the fire. We know that, son. Relax. Hey, can, can you hurry up, mister? Joe, Joe's hurt bad. Take it easy. We'll be at the first aid station in a few minutes. Helicopter 38 Bravo to Chief Palmer. Helicopter 38 Bravo to Chief Palmer. Over. This is Chief Palmer. Hello, Chief. This is PT. We have the three boys. One is pretty badly burned, so we're taking them to the emergency first aid station at Sawmill Road. We'll wait there and then take them back to the detention camp. Helicopter 38 Bravo up. What's his name? Joe, Joe Vose. You two come with Aren't me. Aren't you going to do something for Joe? The doctor will take care of him. Yours? No, we just brought him in for the other two boys. Oh, well, we'll take good care of them. They have to stick around and wait for him. We're taking him back to the county detention camp. Prisoners? Joe Bose? You know? What? Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, you better wait up front. Fine. Something going on here. What? Well, I don't know, but just now under. PB hypo, three CCs. Spanners aren't been on burns. You. You're Duck Morgan. PB hypo, three CCs. Spanners aren't been on burns. No, I'll be all right. These two can be released after treatment. Yes, Doctor. <laughs> Morgan's daughter, Debbie, was killed in a drag race. Joe was the driver. Don't let him give Joe that needle. The hypo's going to help him. You just got one. Well, sure, I got one. So did Cliff from the nurse. Morgan's fixing Joe's himself. Why? involved in your daughter's death? Yes. Well, would you prefer we took him someplace else for treatment? 
He can't be moved. He's critically burned. Sure. Sure, he wants to keep Joe here. Tell him why. Tell him what you said in court when Joe got only two years. He said he'd get Joe. He said he'd get him if it was the last thing he ever did. Nurse. Yes, doctor. Have you given these two men the shots? Yes, I have. They can be discharged. Now, look, Doc, we take them out of here. Okay, Doc. Come on, boys, let's go. Don't let them touch me. Stay away. Don't let them touch me. You gotta do something, mister. You don't know. What would you suggest we do? Don't let Morgan be alone with Joe. Carl's right. He'll kill him. Look, Morgan is a doctor with a doctor's responsibilities. He's not going to hurt Joe. You weren't at the trial. Were you involved in this thing, too? Yeah. We were having a drag race. Carl and I were in one car, and Joe and Debbie Morgan were in the other. What happened, anyway? Well, I revved up to 75 or 80. Joe's car stayed right beside me. All of a sudden, Joe's car swerved in toward mine. And our wheels locked. It should have been one of us. Instead of Debbie. In court, when Joe got only two years, Doc Morgan started yelling. He swore he'd make Joe pay. That's why we didn't want to leave Joe alone with Doc Morgan. We were wrong for racing like that, but we didn't mean for anything to happen. There's the camp. Pretty shaken up. That's all right. We'll take care of them. They're really not bad, boys. As a matter of fact, they're the only ones that volunteered to help fight this fire. Yeah. You know what happened to the other one, don't you? Yeah, we heard from Chief Palmer. All right, let's go, boys. Hey, go back there, please. Maybe you guys can still help Joe. Please. Okay. Good luck now. Chief Palmer, we take all three of the boys back to camp after treatment. We could find out if Joe's ready to be returned. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Five minutes after you took off, she burned down. Fire got pretty close, some embers, no time at all, it was gone. What became of Joe Vos? Who? Joe Vos. You know, the young fellow that tried to break out of here, you helped him back in his cot. Oh, him. I don't know, I was at the other end of the tent when the fire broke out.
Who's that? One of the patients. Couldn't get him out in time. He can't be recognized. I see. Mind if we look around a little? Go ahead. This cot was right about here in the middle of the tent. Yeah. Hey. Do that. It's no use. He can't be identified. Oh. Do you know where the rest of the patients were taken? No, I just helped get them out. Better check with Chief Palmer. Ah, this is helicopter 3A Bravo to Chief Palmer. Helicopter 3A Bravo to Chief Palmer. Come in, Chief. Over. Hello, Chief. This is Chuck Martin. Say, we picked up two of those boys and took them back to the camp. But when we went back to the third one at the first aid station, it burned to the ground. Oh, you know about it, huh? Any idea where he's taken? No idea at all, Chuck. I haven't had a report yet on any of them. Do you want us to look for him? No, I've got something more urgent here, a spotting job. You know where Heath Ridge is? Yes, we do. Well, I've lost contact with an engine company there. Check in the situation, see if they need help. If so, well, let me know. Roger, three are probably out. We'll have to forget Joe for a while. Helicopter 3-8 Bravo to Chief Palmer. Helicopter 3-8 Bravo to Chief Palmer, over. This is Chief Palmer. Go ahead, Helicopter 3-8 Bravo. Chief, your boys are safe. What's next? An emergency first aid station has been set up at the uh, Ranger Station in Oak Canyon. I understand the patients have been transferred there. See if your boys among them. While you're there, you might give them a hand. Will do. Uh, by the way, Chief, that casualty at the last place, has he been identified yet? No? Thank you, 3-8 Bravo out. Morgan? No, I don't. I'm think. sure it is. Doctor? Doctor? Yes? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were someone else. Over there. What? I know that's one of the nurses from the tent. This time I think you're right. Uh, nurse? Nurse? Hello? We're looking for a young fellow named Joe Bose. Do you remember him? Bose. He was the one that Dr. Morgan had so much trouble with. Do you know what happened to him when the tent burned down? I was very busy moving the patients and the equipment. You didn't see him being taken out at all, huh? Why are you so interested in Joe Bose? Well, it's a long story, miss. I don't think you'd understand. Don't be so sure. What do you mean? I'm Mrs. Morgan. They took some of the patients to our home. You might find him there. Were you looking for Dr. Morgan? Yes. I'm sorry I was so abrupt, but I was in the middle of an examination. I'm on my way over there now to give him a hand. Can I bum a ride? Yes, sir. You come on with us. Thank you. Uh, 
this is helicopter 38 Bravo to Chief Palmer. Helicopter 38 Bravo to Chief Palmer, come in, please. Hello, Chief, this is Chuck Martin. We're still looking for that boy. Yes, sir, we're on our way over to Dr. Morgan's house now. You heard anything? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Chief. Helicopter 38 Bravo out. What's wrong? That body we thought might be Joe. Yeah? One of Chief Palmer's men. Was this at the tent that burned down? Yes, sir. Were you there? Yes, I arrived two minutes before it happened. It's a miracle there weren't more casualties. There was one young man in particular, a, a patient of Morgan's, in fact, whose chances were practically nil. Can you recall his name? Was it by any chance Bose, Joe Bose? I don't remember it. Might have been that. over for a while and give you a chance to rest. Thanks. That patient. We're looking for Joe Vos, doctor. He's in there. <laughs> hey, Al. Looks like he's gonna be all right. I don't know how you pulled him through, but you did it. Safe enough now to move into the hospital. Oh, that's wonderful. It was a close call. How bad it was, Doctor. Happened. Oh, what's that? Wind's died down. Hey, yeah. <laughs>